Good morning. Welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. I'm going to be in two different places today, but I wanted to show you before I open the pack, I'm about to do my crock pot cube steak. Y'all, this is one of my favorite, favorite recipes. It's in volume one. We still have some volume one if you haven't ordered. And the way you do that is go to mamasuesouthernkitchen.com. But when I made it a year or so ago, somebody said, what is cube steak? Okay, cube steak comes in a package and it says cubed steak. And it's just steak that has been, let me show you. It's a big old piece right here. But it has been run through or beaten until it's tender. So, I wanted to show you this, and I'm about to go to my sink, and I'm going to wash this. Some of you are going to say, oh, you don't have to wash it. Well, you may not have to, but I do. So, I'm going to show you. It's not taking me, but just a minute. Okay. All right. This, I put it on a paper towel. I'm gonna turn my skillet on, on my stove, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do now. I have put some flour on a plate. If I had a paper plate, I would have put it on the paper plate so I wouldn't have had to wash this. But, since I didn't, first of all, I'm just gonna sprinkle some salt and pepper on both sides. Go ahead and sprinkle this pepper. I've told y'all I love pepper. Okay. I don't know if I did salt on that side or not. Then, after I do that, I am going to uh, put it, dredge it in my flour. I don't, I'm not putting it in egg and milk wash. I just do this. Let me turn my stove up just a little bit. I don't want it too hot. And the thing that I'm going to do with this is I'm not going to cook it until it's done. I'm just going to brown it lightly on each side. Now this, you either, the recipe says to cook it on high, for three to four minutes. Now somebody asked me the last time I made this, how long on low? I would say about six hours, six to eight hours. I think that's kind of how it goes. All right, let me wash my hands and it'll be time to turn you away. Now, I have my stove on and I'm gonna bring this over here. And let me see if it is hot enough. It's beginning to bubble, but I'm gonna wait just a second before I put the other pieces in there. This steak, this cube steak will be so tender that you can cut it with a fork. I promise you, that everybody that has made it has loved it. These are big pieces of cube steak. So I'm not going to get all four pieces in at the same time, but that's okay. I'm gonna show you how it's done. And then 
during the three hours, three and a half hours that it's cooking in the crock pot, I'll pause it and then we'll come back. Let me show you while that is browning what I'm gonna do. You're going to take one can of cream of mushroom soup and one can of beef broth. <clears throat> now you're, you're in the way of that camera up above you. Thank you, though. You're just going to mix that together because that's going to be what we're going to pour over it when we put it in the crock pot. Now, now I think we just showed you, it's not easy to do this, especially for old people. I mean, all these young people that know what they're doing, all right, see there, it's just browned on that side. But, so you can see what we're doing, we're using two cameras. And man, is that hard for old dogs to learn new tricks. But, we're trying every way in the world to help you. I think I told y'all that I never intended to have a cooking show. I thought, who wants to know how to cook like country? But, it started as an accident. I always cooked like this, you know, like my mama did. And for those of you who don't already know, there was a farm not too far from here two years ago. It's during COVID. They were selling boxes of vegetables and they wanted to know if they brought me a box, would I cook some things out of it for advertisement? And I remember I fried okra and cooked green beans, and I think I might have cooked corn. I'm not sure. I did a peach cobbler, and they shared it, and I shared it, and then everybody said, show us how to make this. Show us how to make that. Then the cookbook started. So it's just been, it's been a blessing. All right, I'm gonna bring my crock pot over here. I put a liner in it. These liners are not necessary. All it does is help you when it's cleanup time. Now you know this is not done, but it's brown. And I'm gonna put it in there. You see? And let me put my other piece y'all I know that's loud but I can't help it it's just that's the way it's cooking when this other piece gets brown which it won't take very long We'll be ready to put it in with a beef broth and cream of mushroom soup that I mix together. I'll pour it over it. And y'all, it will be so, so good. I promise you. But anyway, back to my, my cooking. That was in the fall of 20. And then in 21, no, I, that year I did my first cookbook. And I just couldn't believe that y'all wanted my cookbook. And, and so many of you have said, which is your favorite, Mama Sue? Harold told you volume one is his favorite. And it's because 
I started out with the things he likes the most, like the crock pot, cube steak, and um, the meatloaf balls. That's a favorite. When we have Wednesday night meals at our church, that's one of the uh, meals that they rotate because everybody loves them. And that's in this cookbook too. But they're both good. They are both very good. And hopefully within two months, we'll have volume three. But like I told you, uh, we, we, uh, I don't like to order when I still have a good many, but the volume one's getting kind of low. So, if you are, are wanting a volume one, go ahead and order it. But, I just want to help you see, you mamas that are so busy at working, y'all, I, I taught school, worked all day, came home with two little kids, and you have to cook. Harold coached, and he wasn't home, but when he got home, he wanted to eat. And I wanted to eat. So I just want to show you some simple things that you can cook. And it's good. It's very good. All right. This one is brown. So I'm going to put it in. I'm going to take this off. And if you're, you who want to know, how do you use uh, an iron skillet? On your glass top stove, you don't slide it. You pick it up. But anyway, now I'm just going to pour this over it. Put the lid on my crock pot, plug it up, and forget about it for three to four hours. But I'll be back when that time is up. Welcome back. The cube steak cooked on high for about three and a half hours. And I'm telling you, it smells so good. I know it's good because I've had it a lot of times. But it is also so tender. Um, let me see if I can get a piece out without it coming apart. But I'm going to show you right here. This is what the uh, crock pot cube steak looks like. And I also have the, the gravy in here. And I am, I almost have um, rice finished cooking. It, it hasn't yet. But that's what I'm going to have, rice and gravy and... Uh, this cube steak and some lima beans. And that's gonna be our supper tonight. But you saw how easy this is to do. And the recipe is in volume one of Mama Sue's cookbook. If you have it, it's on page 31. If you don't have it, go to mamasueesouthernkitchen.com and you'll, it'll show you how you can order if you'd like one. But, this is a recipe that I want you to see that you can have a delicious supper by just doing very little preparation and when you get home, it'll be ready. Y'all remember to be soft and light wherever you go. Let others see Jesus in you and I just hope you have a great 2023 and I'll be back soon.